Thank you, Craig. At the start of the pandemic, you might have gotten a pet, something to keep you company when you were working from home. Now some pet shelters are faced with the task of pets being returned as people head back into the office. Shelters are seeing some familiar faces come back in. We're seeing a lot of our animals that we have adopted out over the pandemic that have been re adoption returns, which we expected. We knew that there was going to be a turnover. Animal Charities and Boardman is getting a mixture of hoarding cases and returns. They say they were expecting returns when pets started getting adopted at the start of the pandemic. Even though you're home because you're working from home, that doesn't mean that you have the time to dedicate the attention that an animal needs, especially a rescue animal. At Angels for Animals in Canfield, different animals bring different challenges for them. Cats coming in with babies, people have been home, they've been noticing them more outside, so they've been feeding them more outside, they've been sheltering them more outside, but they're not fixing them. Sherry Banky is the cat manager for Angels for Animals. She says this is the typical start for cat season. Many of them are born and then dropped off at the shelter. So combining the two issues means they are forecasting a lot of cats and kittens coming in. We have upwards to five, six hundred we going into foster before this is done with every month until kitten season's over in November. With dog returns, the most common problem for the animal is behavior issues, mainly separation anxiety. And this is stuff that they don't necessarily realize in the day to day of working from home until they start going back to the office and then the dog is destroying things while they're gone. They've seen a lot of other issues why dogs are returning to the shelter. But overall, people don't realize the significance. They thought it was more convenient for them to get an animal because they always wanted one at the time, when really we knew it's a lifelong commitment. And a few things you can do to help is spay and neuter your pet and volunteering to be a foster home.